Hey everyone, I'm Carly Hall, and in today's video, I'm gonna try something new in true Carly Hall fashion. I've never tried this, but I bought this little elephant stuffed animal from Ikea, and I noticed that it was 100% polyester. And as a crafter, when you see something that's 100% polyester, you immediately think sublimation and Cricut infusible ink. So I picked up this box of infusible ink, and we're gonna try to press on an image with our Cricut Easy Press Mini. If you've watched my Easy Press Mini video using infusible ink on a mug, you'll see that I failed miserably. So hopefully we have a better outcome with our elephant and we'll see. So I'm gonna jump over to Design Space and I'm gonna draw up an image for the elephant and then we'll get crafting. In Design Space, I wanted to do a super basic image and just type out the word elephant I thought this would be a great resource for little kids that are learning the alphabet or learning how to spell. And I thought the letter E on one side would be great and the word on the other would be awesome. So I'm gonna do an uppercase E and a lowercase E. And we can even put a line under it, something to make it a little bit more educational. And then we'll cut this out and apply it. So I'm gonna measure my elephant and see what size we should cut it at. So we have a max height of two inches. So I'm going to do the height for my E's at 1.8. And that'll give us 2.2 wide. And then this one can max width be about three. So let's do 2.8 for that as well. And hopefully those letters will be big enough on the other side. We'll click make it. And on this screen, we want to make sure that we are mirroring our design because in fusible ink, we will cut it and then weed it. So you can rearrange these to fit on your mat however you'd like. If you wanna conserve material um, and cut a smaller square, you can do that. So I'm gonna move this under here. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room so I can cut those apart and then we'll click continue. Once your machine has connected, you'll browse all materials. If you're on a Cricut Explore Air 2 or any Explore machine, you'll want to turn your dial to custom and then choose browse all materials and then search for infusible. That'll bring up Cricut's official setting for Cricut infusible ink transfer sheets. Then click done. It does remind you to make sure your mirror is turned on. So again, just make sure that you can see that your mirror is on and then we're gonna load the sheet onto a machine cutting mat and load it into the machine. Inside your box of infusible ink, you'll find a black bag that is protecting your materials. Go ahead and open that up. And then you'll find your materials. Now notice on the box that the materials are a different color, they're lighter. So you'll wanna make sure you're grabbing the correct color. So it looks like they're in order. We have the first green here, then yellow, then this one is actually a green color, which is super surprising. I can't believe that's what that will turn into. And then the last one, it looks like a navy blue, but it looks like it'll be an emerald when we transfer it. So we're gonna use that dark one, and then we can just put the other ones aside. Before I put my infusible ink transfer sheet on the mat, you can decide which way you want the pattern to be, either horizontal or vertical, and then trim your material down. So I'm gonna pull open my cutting tool. I want my pattern to go this way. And then I'm gonna trim it down to a four by four square. And then I can save these pieces for another project. You'll load your infusible ink sheet on your mat with the ink side up and the liner on the mat. And then we'll load that into the machine and click the flashing C. Once it's done cutting, unload your mat and we're done with our machine. To weed your transfer sheet, you can just flip over the mat and then peel it right off. And then I like to crack my design so that it breaks a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna grab some scissors and trim this down. 
and I'm gonna crack it and then I pull away from the letters so that it doesn't tear my design. There's our mirrored image and then when we transfer it, it'll be like this. Since Cricut has so many materials and now three different easy presses, the best place to find the most up-to-date settings is cricut.com slash heat guide. So once you're there, you'll choose which machine you have. I'm using the Cricut Easy Press Mini. And then we'll choose infusible ink transfer sheet. And our base material, since there isn't an option for a stuffed animal, we're gonna choose a t-shirt. And then we'll click apply. So we're gonna preheat to the highest setting and then it looks like we need to actually preheat the stuffed animal and then we'll transfer it for about a minute and 15 seconds. My Easy Press Mini is all plugged in and now we just need to power it on. So you're gonna click it three times to get it to the highest setting and the indicator light will be orange until it's ready to go. So once it turns green, we'll be able to start preheating our stuffed animal. I have an easy press mat that's actually not for the stuffed animal, but I wanted to use the sample swatch and apply that on there so we could see the color difference. So we'll wait for this to heat up and then we'll be back. Our easy press mini is green and ready to go, but I also wanted to transfer a piece of the same material onto white so we could see how it's different when we transfer it on gray compared to white. So I grabbed the sample swatch that comes in the infusible ink box and then a sheet of cardstock in my easy press mat. So I'm gonna cover my mat just to protect it. And then I have my sample swatch and I'm gonna preheat that for five seconds. So I have my sample swatch, the moisture has been removed. And then I saved this scrap of infusible ink so that we could transfer that right on here. And since none of the liner is exposed, it's not very sticky, so I'm gonna use heat resistant tape and cover my design. And then using a timer on your phone or your watch, you'll want to time to make sure that you're moving this around for 75 seconds. After your design has cooled, you can peel back the tape and your image. I'll have to say I'm pretty surprised that it's the right color green. So you can see here's the green and this is what it looked like before. So it's crazy how much it changes in color. And then if we compare that to the color of the box, you can see that the box color is a super accurate indication of what it will transfer to be. So again, it will transfer differently. So now that we've practiced and we're confident, I think we will be able to transfer this onto our elephant with no problem. All right, so our elephant is ready. My letters, I'm gonna tape them on as well. We'll start with the big one. I'm feeling a little bit more confident about that. Here's my placement. See how it looks. I think that'll be really cute. Just this a little bit. Oh. I forgot to preheat, so let's preheat him really fast. So I'm just gonna take my Easy Press Mini and run it over him. So far, so good. Doesn't look like it's melting. Let's see. It did rough his hair up a little bit, but I think it's okay. Do the other side. Trim off the tags to get those out of the way. Okay, back to placing my E's on. I'm gonna tape it down for some added security. So you don't need an easy press mat since we're pressing into the animal, but I'm gonna put mine under there just so I can rest it on there and then we'll start going. All right, let's see how we did. Oh 
my gosh, it's so cute. I missed a little bit of ink up here, so let's see if we can fix that by just putting the E back on. I'm gonna put that right back on, cover it back up. And then I'm just gonna focus on this top part that I missed. All right, let's see how that did. How stinking cute is that? Here's the little E's on the elephant. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, can't wait to do the other side. So let's compare really quickly before I go on to the other side. The color actually looks very similar. You can see that it's a little bit darker on the gray than on the white, but for the most part, I'd say it's the same. I'm so impressed. And it's so nice that the ink is on the fuzz of the animal and there's no vinyl or iron-on laying on top of it. So it's really in the stuffed animal. All right, let's do the other side. Not too bad. Again, I missed a little bit of the E here. So let's put that back on and see if we can get that a little bit darker. I love the point of the Easy Press Mini because I really can get into this hard to reach area right here where the E is pointed. And even though I missed it the first time, it's really easy to go over that corner. And on this end, get the T a little bit more. And just like that, I fixed my mistake. You will notice though that I took a little bit of the ink off when I went back over because the Easy Press was over the other letters. So it did lighten up those letters a little bit. But overall, I'm way impressed. Look at that, so cute. You guys, that was pretty good. There was a couple of rookie mistakes that I made. I know better than to go over my image and peel off the ink. So that was not pro tip there. But overall, I'm super excited with how clearly you can see the letters on both sides and that even though this is gray the color was so close to what it was on white so light gray and white are very similar so i'm really excited and i haven't done a few an infusible ink project in a while so building my confidence on the sample swatch really prepped me for my little elephant so if you have a sample swatch laying around make sure to use it so you can build up your confidence before you put it on your little stuffed animal I love this Easy Press Mini. I'll put all of the links in the video description below. And if you found this helpful, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And if you need more Cricut tips or help, I also have an entire Facebook group dedicated to helping learn your Cricut. So I'll put that link in the description below as well. Check out my other videos and I'll see you next time.